Hey guys, today I'm going to be sharing with you my weekly cleaning routine. So I'm going to break it down day by day what I do in order to make cleaning just a little bit less overwhelming and daunting. And instead of doing all my cleaning in one day and just being exhausted with an aching back by the end of the day, this way I get to just do little by little each day of the week and I'm able to spend more time with my kids and get other things done that I want to get around to each day. So let's take a look. All right guys, let's get to cleaning. So on Monday, I start with the bathrooms. I try to make sure that I do my least favorite chore of the house on the first day of the week because that's when I'm the most motivated, the week's starting off, and I can just get it out of the way and not have to worry about it. So I have a three bathroom house. So that's probably also why I just want to get it knocked out and out of the way. Um, what's y'all's favorite chore to do or least favorite chore to do, I guess? And the products I use, sometimes it changes, but I typically just use, for wiping everything down, I use Clorox wipes. And I tried to start using gloves, as you saw in the beginning of the video, but at a certain point it just gets so hard to wipe everything and things like move around and slip off the gloves. So I just make sure that I clean my hands really well afterwards. I know it's probably not the best thing for my skin, but it's just how I do it. And for the bathroom sink, so downstairs I'm just using the Method anti, I think it's like the antibacterial spray, cleaning spray for the sinks. And here I'm using the soft scrub. I have like a container upstairs of that, so I don't have to be hauling everything around upstairs and downstairs. I try to keep the cleaning products in the bathrooms under the sink, just so I don't have to be lugging everything around all day. I wish I was this fast in real life whenever I was cleaning. Can you imagine how fast I could clean my house? I wouldn't have to do it day by day kind of thing. I could just do everything all at once. I just like the Clorox toilet bowl ones because I don't know, something about the toilet brushes just grosses me out to no extreme so this just makes it a little bit more bearable for me and I don't dread cleaning the toilet bowl but we have the hardest water we don't have a water softener so here in San Antonio we have really hard water so it always leaves marks on the toilet I can't seem to get them off on the inside of the bowl so if anybody knows any tips or tricks please comment down below 
I'm open to hearing those. And this is my master bathroom. It's my least favorite bathroom to clean just because it's the biggest out of the three bathrooms. I'm sure everybody else feels like that about their bathroom too. have this still in our bathroom because our daughter usually uses our restroom and first thing in the morning so a stool for her to wash her little hands okay you're gonna notice that all the paint is like scratched off so when my son uses our bathroom that's his terrible habit is just scratching the paint off the toilet seat I guess when he's born he's going to the restroom it's like it looks the worst I know we just need to buy a new toilet seat it's one of those things you don't think about on a regular basis or whenever you're out and about, you don't think like, hey, I need to buy a new toilet seat. So note to self. And this is that squatty potty. I don't know if anybody has this, but it drives me crazy because it's just one extra thing to clean, but my husband likes it. So he swears by it. This is like the best tool for cleaning the bathtub and the shower. This makes it so much easier so you're not scrubbing on your hands and knees. And I usually clean the inside of the shower, like the glass, when I'm showering. So I use a Mr. Clean Magic Eraser on the inside of the glass shower door. And it's amazing. Like it takes all the hard water stains and the spots off. It's incredible what it does. I'm just using some shower spray on the shower walls. It's like a daily shower cleaner. I think it's by, I want to say it's Method. It smells really good.
just spraying the shower wall down to get all the cleaner off. It's like the best attachment ever for the shower. I love it. We used to have just like a, like a shower head that was just a one that you could kind of move a little bit, but not with a detachable handle. This has been a game changer when it comes to cleaning the showers. Or even just like giving my kids a shower. Like if my daughter wants a shower, it's so much easier to wash her hair. And I always use this giant Bubba keg that we've had forever. This is like the only reason that I use this. I don't actually ever use it for drinks or anything like that. We, I think I got it whenever my husband and I first got married which is 11 years ago, but it's the best for cleaning the bathtubs. So now we're on to dusting. So I'm just gonna kinda wipe down anything wood pretty much, just a light dusting of the house. I'm not doing any kind of deep cleaning. So I'm using the method, um, I think it's like a method dusting spray. It's, it's an almond scent, it smells really good. I like it so much better than the other, like the orange scented dusting cleaners. It just has like a nice warm smell to it. But I'd say probably about once a month, I do some like a deep clean where I'm dusting the blinds and also like cleaning the windows on the inside, that kind of thing. Probably need to do my baseboards more regularly and throw that in there. but. Let me know in the comments below if you'd like me to do one of those videos of like a, a whole house deep clean. And we have a double fireplace, so it works on both sides. So just a little bit extra to clean, I guess, with, when it comes to dusting and decorating too. So it's tricky at Christmas time. So we put the stockings on this side and then the other side, I still feel obligated to decorate somehow. So I always have to come up with something different to put on the other side. <laughs> And this is the dining table in our dining room that we use maybe like three or four times a year just when we host for the holidays. Does anybody else have a table like that? You just never ever use it. Although it would be more practical as a family of five to eat at this table just to have more space, more room to eat. But it just, it, our dining room so far away from our kitchen with the house layout. It seems like it would just be annoying. And then here's the little play kitchen. Can't forget that. I'm just dusting the shelf. And my bedroom, my little console, which I know we really need to hide those wires. My husband keeps telling me he's gonna put them through the wall, but we've been here about five years and still hasn't happened. So I think it's one of those little to-do, honey-do lists. I don't know, something about these method cleaners, they smell so good that even if 
the house isn't super dirty or dusty, it's still, I, I still like using them and cleaning the house because it makes it smell so good inside when I use this. And I always have to wait till my baby has just woken up to clean his room, to dust his room. So he's just kind of entertaining himself in the crib, just playing around. And then my daughter, that's who you see popping up every once in a while. She's like right in front of the camera. And my oldest was willing to help out. He wanted to go ahead and help me dust. Does such a good job. He's a good helper. He's a good kid. And my daughter too, of course. She's dusting her bed. So that was for Tuesday. And Wednesday I do mirrors. So right here I'm using the method mirror or the method um, multi-surface cleaner. I would not recommend that for mirrors. I thought I maybe could get away with it, but it still leaves kind of a streak. So I like to use either the Thieves Concentrate diluted with 16 ounces of water in a spray bottle, or also I like the method window cleaner or glass cleaner. It has a mint smell to it, so kind of helps me get motivated to want to clean the house and make it smell good. Sometimes I feel like whenever I'm cleaning mirrors or windows or anything like that, it's like a workout. I feel like it's like a cardio. So if I didn't get to my workout that day, I don't feel that bad about it. <laughs> my silly little girl and then comes Thursday now we're on to mopping so I'm using the steam mop which I love I love 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 so every night before bed I always run the robot vacuum downstairs so that's why I don't really have to vacuum before I usually vacuum like areas that I know it didn't get before I steam mop like behind the trash can or maybe behind a door or something like that but I feel like it's so soothing, the sound of a steam mop when you're using it, it just, and just killing all the germs with the steam. What I also usually do with it, I'll put uh, probably like 10 drops of essential oil, whatever fragrance I'm wanting that day, I'll put it on the pad for the steam mop so it makes the whole house smell really good whenever I'm doing it. But I really have my eye on this, this one. It's like a vacuum mop. I forget the name of it. I forget the brand, but I've got it on my Amazon wish list. And it has like a clean and a dirty water reservoir and it vacuums at the same time. So I just, and it's, it's cordless. So I can't even imagine what a game changer that would be, especially where the high chair is or where my kids eat breakfast at the little breakfast bar area. Like I would love to just use that every morning, honestly. So maybe for Christmas and so if y'all are wondering where my kids are in most of the videos uh, I always try to do this during nap time and quiet time any kind of cleaning so that's why I also kind of have to break it down each day that way I can actually get the whole chore done instead of being interrupted whenever the kids wake up or are ready to get up from relaxing. Excuse my hot mess express. 
laundry area and just need to reorganize. So mopping is basically my last chore of the week uh, besides doing sheets and towels stuff like that as far as like that kind of cleaning goes on the weekends but I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope that it inspired you guys give, gave you some cleaning motivation and some ideas on how to get everything done in a week without being completely overwhelmed so I hope you guys really enjoy it you guys enjoy your day and please don't forget to subscribe.